Hey, the, Jitter Fluid, the Diary of a Jitter Fluid YouTube collaboration project is Thursday, so you guys get to see me, Ezra. Um, this week's topic is gender euphoria. Um, gender euphoria is a term that I've only recently come across uh, while scrolling down Tumblr. It is the very opposite um, from what I learned of gender dysphoria. Uh, gender euphoria is when you identify as a gender or, or rather, um, when you say someone recognizes you for the gender that you are and you get this giant feeling of happiness and elation. Um, for example, you go out and um, you're passing very, very well and people use the correct pronouns or go, say if you're a trans guy, go, hey sir, or if you're a trans um or using your correct pronouns as non-binary, or if you're a trans girl, they go, hey ma'am, you would experience gender euphoria. Um, and that being said, you don't have to have gender dysphoria or gender euphoria to identify as trans. You identify as trans because you identify as trans um, or non-binary. Um, I said I thought that was very important. I think the best analogy for that, uh, what I've been using for myself is, you know, when you're, it's, it's something, you know, that helps really when you're going through your questioning of a gender, um, when you're questioning a gender, and, but and it's like that gender euphoria is like, yes, this is it. This is what I want. Um, it's kind of like when you're hungry but you don't know what you're hungry for, but you're so, so hungry, but nothing sounds good at all. Like, you're going through your fridge, and you're trying things like, bled, this is bad, this is bad, but you find that one thing, and you're like, yes, this is it. This is what I have been craving this entire time. This is it. And so, yeah, guys, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Uh, if you have any concerns, comment below. I will address and answer them best as I can. Um, thumbs up. Subscribe. See you guys next Thursday.